Some sad breaking news from Germany. One of the greats of German and world football, Franz Beckenbauer, has died at the age of 78. It is already the lead story on most German news outlets. He was nicknamed Der Kaiser. He dominated German football in the 1960s and 70s and is arguably the country's greatest footballer. He has been ill in recent times and some of his former teammates have expressed the hope in recent weeks that he would get better again without giving us any great hope that he would do so. Lothar Matthäus uh, said a few months ago that uh, France always said that health is the most important thing in life. He doesn't have that at the moment and he has uh, passed away at the age of 78. He joined Bayern Munich in 1958. He made his first team debut five years later. He was the captain from 1971 and helped Bayern win three European Cups up to 1976, four uh, Bundesliga titles as well. In 1971, he was made the captain of West Germany's national team. He took them to the 1972 European Championship and the World Cup in 1974. He'd been in the West Germany team that lost to England in the 1966 World Cup final at Wembley. He was named European Footballer of the Year in 1972 and again four years later. In the latter stages of his career, he played with the New York Cosmos in the era when uh, Pelé was amongst a host of world stars who uh, were also playing their trade in the United States. He went back to Germany, played for Hamburg for a couple of years. His final year as a player was 1984. He won 103 caps for Germany and he then became manager of the West German team in 1984. They were runners-up in the World Cup in 1986 and the winner in 1990. He had an extensive managerial career. He managed Marseille in France and then Bayern Munich in uh, 1993 to four uh, and then for a second spell in 96. And he became Bayern's vice president and the vice president of the German Football Federation in 1998, overseeing Germany's successful bid to host the 2006 World Cup. He later served in executive capacities for Bayern and for the world governing body FIFA as well. He holds the title of honorary captain of both Germany and Bayern Munich. And along with, I'd say, Pelé, Johan Cruyff, Maradona, are considered one of the all-time greats of the 20th century, certainly in world football. As Bayern coach, he won the German championship in 1994 and the UEFA Cup in 1996. And he's credited as inventing the attacking sweeper position from defence. Very, very elegant player, could dribble the ball out of defence in a way that was almost unknown until he arrived. Fantastic range of passing, short or long, didn't matter to Beckenbauer. And he has true legendary status, particularly in his home country, but also uh, around the continent, around the world. He was European Footballer of the Year on two occasions. He won 103 caps for West Germany, playing at three World Cups, two Euros. He won, as I say, that 1974 World Cup as captain and then again as the manager in 1990. And that's only been matched by two men, Didier Deschamps and Mario Zagala, the Brazilian who died a few days ago, winning the World Cup as a player and a manager. Only those three people. He won three consecutive European Cups with Bayern Munich in 1974, 75 and 76. The great Franz Beckenbauer has died at the age of 78 and we'll bring you more tributes as we get them here on Sky Sports News. One of football's all-time greats.